So after using this guy right here, I don't think that I'm ever going to buy a regular TV again. This is the 4Movie Laser Projector. And honestly, before checking out this piece of tech, I didn't even know that these kinds of projectors even existed. When I think of projectors, I picture these standard lamp projectors at the back of your room projecting onto a screen. I think of washed out pictures, poor quality, and the annoyance of blocking the screen every time you stand up. Granted, you can get some pretty high quality of the standard projectors or even a better LED projectors. Now, compared to those, this takes it to the next level. This is a laser short throw projector. 4Movie did not sponsor this video, but they did send over this guy for review. And basically a quick rundown, laser projectors use diodes to generate the light source for projection. The general advantages of this include higher brightness, wider color gamuts, quick off and on, and a very long lasting light source. Basically, there's not a actual bulb that you're gonna need to replace. So in this video, what I'm gonna do is run down the specifications of the hardware, software, and then go into my personal review of using it for the last three or four weeks. This laser projector puts out 4K UHD display with a brightness of 2800 ANSI and a refresh rate of 60 Hertz. The advertised contrast ratio is 3000 to one and the recommended picture projection is 80 to 150 inches. It has HDR, Adobe Vision, a massive total color space and it also features two full range speakers and two tweeters at 30 watts branded as Bauer and Wilkins. And the speakers are super nice because it's basically like a whole sound bar built into the unit and based on where you actually place this thing, it's essentially perfect. And speaking of placement, it is a laser projector that points straight up onto your wall and the further away from the wall you have it, the bigger the projection is going to be. For example, at 14 centimeters away, you're going to have a projection of about 80 inches and at 49 centimeters, it's going to project that full 150 inches. So from there back to the hardware, taking a look at the, some of the connectivity, we have three HDMI ports with one of them supporting EARC and then we have two USB ports and audio out and SPDIF audio out and an ethernet port. It features Android TV built in and at least compared to the cheap TV that I've been using, it is very snappy and fluid. There are some custom settings available specifically for the projector to help you align the edges to the actual edges of your screen and some other calibration settings. But beyond that, it's your standard Android TV experience. Now using this projector here has been absolutely beautiful. The projector definitely does best in darker environments at night. And in that scenario, honestly telling the difference from those super high quality premium like Samsung 4K displays, it's there's almost no difference at all. The picture is absolutely stunning, especially paired with a proper screen that's going to absorb the light and utilize the light directly that is projected onto it. Now, when I first got this thing, I ended up having to do a lot of research after the fact because I thought I could just like shine it onto a white sheet and it would be perfect. Granted, even running off of my textured wall back there, it still looked really good. Not great, but still kind of better than what we would get from a standard projector. Granted, because the light is shining upwards and my wall is textured, it was a bit patchy and a little shadowy. Now, obviously this isn't the intended purpose, but it's definitely usable this way, especially if your wall isn't textured like mine. Once I did some research, I found out the type of screen I actually needed for this, and I was uh, thoroughly disappointed because they are not cheap. I was gonna go with like a cheaper one off of Amazon that would have costed around $500, but for the sake of this review, I ended up buying the one that comes from the same manufacturer so I would get an accurate image of what it was actually supposed to put out. Unfortunately, it was like $1,200, you get it for about a thousand. And once I did purchase it, I went through the painful process of putting this massive 100 inch screen together. And once I fired it up for the first time, I realized how truly remarkable the thing is. Now the screen I ended up needing to purchase is an ALR projector screen. It has a bunch of different layers to provide the best picture possible. They are super delicate, so you're gonna need to be really careful putting it together. And it even ships with some white gloves so you don't actually touch it or do any damage to it. And if you were to get like a magnifying glass and put it up to the screen, you'd see some small grooves that helps grab and absorb the light. And because of its shape, it actually shields itself from the surrounding light that isn't projected either directly below or above it, really helping out in lighter environments. Even though this thing is a hundred inches based on the uh, 
place that I need my projector. I've been using it roughly as an 80 inch screen, which is still massive. This is mostly because I have it placed on a cubicle unit, but once my son gets out of his uh, toddler stage, I'll get something a little bit lower to utilize the full size of the screen. Even on the gray screen in darker environments, blacks are black, colors are incredibly crisp and vivid, and on the first night once I got this thing set up, I actually ended up watching one of those random HDR 4K sample videos on YouTube for probably an hour just because of how memorized I was with this display. Adding the setup here is literally theater quality because of how bright, crisp it is, and how close you can get to it. I honestly prefer watching movies in my own living room now. Well, I've always have, but especially now, than going to a movie theater. I mean, I even switched out the uh, 1080p movies on my Plex server for 4K HDR because I wanted to actually experience how amazing media assumption could be in my own home. Unfortunately, it's not too often that by the end of the night, I'm not completely exhausted after uh, taking care of two children, working and going to school. So I end up watching it a lot during the day. I have a lot of windows and because of this windows, it's quite bright in my living room. And ultimately, even with all this added brightness, the picture quality is still good, not as remarkable as darkness, but a good watchable display nonetheless. In brighter environments, the picture is still pretty crisp and vivid, but the blacks are definitely a little bit more gray and it does become slightly more washed out. But even with all the windows fully open, it's still definitely watchable. And even doing something as closing the curtains will make it a wonderful experience. Now my dream ultimately when I'm able to purchase a home is to have an actual theater room with no windows and have this exact same equipment in it. And ultimately because of the experiences I have, I can never see myself purchasing a regular TV like this for a living room or theater. A small little bedroom TV or something like that in a convenient spot is different. But for really consuming media, I think that these laser projectors are going to be the way to go, especially as time goes on and prices come down. I believe the MSRP on this thing is right around $4,000, but it's often listed on their website at $3,500, and they usually have some sort of coupon code or deal where you can get $100 off. Paired with a good screen, expect to spend around $4,000 on the complete set. If your budget is much less than that, a cheap TV from Best Buy or something or Walmart is probably going to be a better move for you, especially compared to buying a cheaper LED or even regular bulb projector. But if you're planning on buying a high-end TV that's four, five, six, seven thousand dollars laser projectors like this are definitely worth a look as they're unique, they put out a good picture, and it's really a movie theater in your home. Um, with all that, anything I mentioned will be linked down below if you are interested, and I do have some uh, theater chairs coming in to kind of pair with this if you're interested in that. Do subscribe because that's going to be a furniture review, which is uh, rather interesting for this channel. I mean, they do have USBs and motors, so... I think I could get away with it. With all that, I'm thoroughly impressed. The quality is impressive nonetheless. And I do hope you have an absolutely beautiful day. And goodbye. If your budget is significantly less, a cheap TV from Best Buy is probably going to be better than a cheaper printer. Oh, shit.